Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's Monday. It's Ladder Leverage Day. We got Mr. Spider Chicken hanging with us today. How are we doing today, sir? I'm doing pretty good, especially even better than you asked me to do this. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. We haven't had you on in a minute. No. I think we played oh, yeah. Northern Realms the last time we uh, we jammed some games. I'm not sure. Honestly, uh, sir, I don't remember. Like a year ago, <laughs> it seems like but, uh, it seems like so long ago, man. But... Yeah, it was really long ago, but we had fun. I remember that we had fun, sir. Absolutely, absolutely, and uh, and you've done a lot of work with like the crafting guides and all that other stuff with us back in the day. So, mm -hmm. um, good, good, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Um, but you've uh, you you tore through the ranks pretty good with. Uh, um nr witchers um would you go from you because you you were out of the game for a little bit you uh you took some time yeah off. I, did, I didn't play the game for eight months and i only came back this season so i started in like playing 16 or 17. uh i didn't play witches all the way from that i think i played witches from like rank 13 to rank 2 so that's 11 ranks and i had like 30 wins and two losses so this deck is definitely good for yeah. rank gameplay because you have a wide variety of decks and you're not really queuing into decks that are bad versus witches and the certain game plan that witches have is quite good for this rank because you usually want to bleed you know to and most decks actually want the long round so you're pretty good versus them yeah it it it, ha it puts a lot of pressure on your opponent too because sometimes even if they do win round one they gotta they gotta spend some like serious stuff just to make sure that they do win. You know what I mean? So even yes, still, yeah. you're, they're spending win cons in round one that normally they'd be saving for round three just because they know that if they go into a long, they're gonna get bled and they're gonna lose. You know, a lot of their yeah. other stuff that's a little bit slower too, like stuff like masquerade ball and things like that. So yeah, and that's because we have a card called Erland of Lavik. Yeah, because that card is really good if you play it on one. It gives you a lot of rage. If they don't kill it, you can always use the order, right? You don't necessarily need the the carryover if you if you're gonna win the round, because if you win the round, then you have round control, and witches love having round control. So this card is really really good, and because of the reach that it gives, the opponent has to commit into the round a little bit more than they would like. Right. Um, and then one thing you want to make sure for sure that you do is if you're playing against Nilfgaard, you hopefully flip this over with an Adept or something. Because if this thing gets cooed, you're in big trouble. <laughs> Just to let you know. Oh, yeah. You, you don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it gets ugly real fast. Granted, you have Yurden in it, too. So the boosts that they do get off it, you can nix some of them. But still, like, try to, if, if, don't, don't sit on it. Because if they have, you know, one of those um, ping two guys or something and they can coup this, that's going to be a rough time. Um, you know, and I mean, like the mulligans, you really don't want the witchers in hand. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You want to play those, like, preferably round three if you bleed them properly, right? Yeah, you want to, to save it for the power play in the shutdown. Yeah. And uh, I, I like, too, that I, I if when I look at the list, I just feel like it really has a good matchup against line pockets. I mean, like the Yurden, it usually gets good value because they have the, the Piggy. They have Cleaver that gets boosted up, the Safe Crackers. You've got a Lock mm -hmm. for the the Drill or a Spender. And then you got one Boiling All Oil that kills the, uh, the Drill as well. Granted, once the Drill drops, it kind of like just goes ham anyways but you still don't want to leave it on the board because if they do have coin mm -hmm. generation you know they do run swindles and stuff like that so yeah they do. uh i mean okay line pockets is a really good deck and it's like a 4.75 stars right yeah uh so by default you're already kind of disadvantaged this is it but this deck isn't too bad like there are decks that are definitely worse versus line pockets than this deck yeah you're, i just i just not, feel like you have not, reach you have a lot of reach yeah you do you do you can definitely win you can definitely win yes yeah um but uh yeah that's the list uh it can be imported at uh, tlg.gg slash meta uh wasubi and a whole bunch of the other guys did write-ups on it you probably have already checked it out um mm -hmm. there might be like i said a little bit of uh an update to them maybe one of the um qualifier decks makes it in there since you know maybe something came out of it that uh you know maybe 
ends up being on there. You know, maybe a tier two deck or something. So I didn't really yeah, see. I, I didn't really see anything that was like other. Really, other than like uh, the mobilization stuff, I've, I really haven't seen a whole lot of anything that's been different well, or innovative. In the, you know? in the qualifiers, there were a couple of players bringing Nature's Gift for Squirtle, and that could else maybe be a better deck than what TOG gave it, but I'm not exactly sure. So yeah, just keep an eye. Yeah, Paja likes uh, Devotion uh, Devotion Gift. It's a, it's a fun yeah, deck. It, it's a really fun deck. It, it's good against Nilfgaard, too. I mean, like, because it's got all those purifies and stuff, which is really nice. Um... But yeah, um, we'll, we'll have uh, two videos uh, for this session, uh, two games today, two on probably Wednesday, I'm thinking. We'll see when I can get it all jumbled together. Um, but um, okay. uh, once again, Spider, thanks for hanging out, man. We appreciate you, dude. Um, we'll have to have yeah, you on you. again here soon, TM. Not not wait a year again. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> but I appreciate you taking the time, man. Um, and once again, you guys always just thank you so much. Ten episodes away from episode 100, uh, pretty pretty cool accomplishment for for me. I think uh, being able to do something on a pretty pretty regular basis. There's some times where we gotta, you know bump the ladder video on mondays because of just the season ending and it just doesn't make any sense to put out a a deck guide for you know a season that ends on that day you know and you got to figure out something new you know especially if there's nerves but for the most part you know it uh it feels really good to be uh putting out ladder leverage for this long so thank you guys i'm glad you enjoy it a couple games me and mr spider will see you at the end all right the Chinese Meta Breaker. Jetmate. I kind of like this deck. I didn't the NG one? Yeah. It's pretty good. It can be really, really infuriating to play against them. Yeah. Yeah, I see okay. that. This is better. So. Hmm. We got Erlen. We got Vesemir. That's good. We dropped the Royal hand, Guard. This hand is quite good, but we can probably make it better by dropping the Royal Guard or something, yeah. Second Griffin Richard. Uh, maybe we want to mold one of these actually. Maybe mold the Griffin Richard. Yeah, we don't need two of them. Can probably... Okay, and mold the side. Let's see what we can Ah, got too greedy. Maybe got too greedy. Yeah. Honestly, maybe we didn't have to take any mulligan there. That hand is pretty good. I'm not sure actually. Anyways, I think we. This is just. Yeah, I wanted to find some like a mutation or something. Like that. Yeah, we can start with the uh, Griffin Witcher. We want to put the Veil on him because then he doesn't lock himself. Right. Uh, yeah, it's dangerous. I don't think we're gonna get there, but if we do get there, then it's pretty good. Yeah, they don't run double cross with the Matic deck, right? They either go Imprisonment or. Uh, it shouldn't run Matic, yeah. Is that our oil target? Because it's going to kill our boost, and we do have a Scytheman. It also hits our oh, no. Adept. Yeah, it's a pretty good oil. Uh, this list plays some engines like Slave Hunters are for, uh, Nautical Sergeants are for, but um, Hunting I mean. Pack. Okay. So now we go Adept? Yes, we can develop the other uh, and we can go front row again. We don't have to go back down and now. use the pink. I don't think you want to go into a long round versus this because they just flood your board. Mm -hmm. And you already yeah, we, flood. Like We definitely want to win this round. Like, we definitely want to win this round and we definitely want to bleed on too. That's our win condition because we need to get the Masquerade all out. So we'll see, but I think we can this one. So we can play Erland, this just to get him out. We, yeah, we can play Erland to get him out. Do we and, want him uh, to get that carryover with Ku though, or do we just uh, flip it? Uh, we flip it. Yeah, we flip it. We play the Erland and then we flip it. It sucks no because we can't no use the Erland ourselves, but I don't think we will have to. And I don't think the slave hunter just put shine curtains or something. Uh. 
yeah, him getting that. I've seen a couple people get that coup off on it, and it's just like, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you definitely want to eat this. It's almost like or... them getting an extra ball out of you. You know what I mean? It's like mm -hmm. the whole deck yeah, gets yeah. boosted he, by he, one. He, him getting coup on Olin would mean GG first, I think. So we definitely flip. That's why I wanted to play at first, maybe because we didn't really have any other means of protecting him. So he's and trying to turn, kill this. Uh, so he's gonna pop one. another one, huh? Yeah, I'm not sure. That that was gonna happen anyways. I think I'm happier that he's playing the cooler than the other one. This is all I need. So we need some tempo. Nice to free. He's only gonna play the Hollis next to uh, AA. We're going Johnny Nats. Mm-hmm. Uh, and hmm. we probably want to pull knight. It kind of sucks, but I don't think he's going to invocation the knight. That would just be bad. And if, if he poisons the knight, that sucks. But I mean, we, have, we need tempo, right? We definitely right. need tempo. Back row? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, you can play fun, actually. Scare and scatter the lots! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, we're fine, yeah, we're fine, we should be fine. <laughs> and we'll see what he does. Okay, oh, he, he has poison. Has... That, that's the thing. Think he can be hazardous to your health! <laughs> Do, Do we keep going? I'm thinking if we can squeeze in the Vesemir. So, one, two, three, so that's seven. And if he has a voice, so we go up to 38. No. Cupbearer so, gets him there, doesn't it? Yeah, we have, if you play the Vessim, yeah, we are at 36. And then he can play an 18 points card, so that puts him at 37, <laughs> which sucks. Uh, we can play Vesemir and one leader charge. El Vesemir in the front. And put leader charge on... Natalis, I guess? Or Vesemir, either one of those. Use the... Oh yeah, we didn't have to use the leader charge. My bad, sorry. Actually we did, we did, because he has engine of his own. Never mind, he's just good. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. So now we pass, or we just we could play. Hmm. Well, we we'll still we we'll still want to contest the round. I think we should play. I think we should use the target practice in one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, we use the target practice on Natalis, and we flip the the student because we're getting adrenaline three on uh, our Griffin Witcher, which is three points, and we're getting two points of this. Should I? Yeah, use the thing. Yeah, use use the thing. Use the thing. Yeah. yeah, this is good. This is good. We want to keep going. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Well, it's kind of random ping now, so I don't have control uh, of it, right? Or it doesn't. Yeah, you should. No, no, you shouldn't ping the two. You should ping either the four or the five. Maybe the five actually. Ping the five. So if random ping goes to four, the five. You can. Okay. That's fine. Oh, you still get to use it. It's been a minute yeah, since yeah. I've used it. You do, yeah. It's really good if you put the veil on Griffin Witcher because it's so good. <laughs> yeah, the last one I used to play, it, would, it put the fortune teller in it just for that. The Empire will be victorious. So he's, so gonna, he's doubling up. Remedy. Is he? He's all for one, two, three, four. I have nothing more than a creaky door. So he gets two pings and it might hit shield, and he's taking the wonders of projectiles of range. A really bad sight. He's taking a leader. What the hell? This hell is that doesn't make sense. Okay. What the hell? Hmm. Interesting. So where do we go? We have an eight point. We have an eight point sightman in the front, and I think we play him. Uh, we definitely use the ping on the 6. And now I'm thinking of whether we should flip 
the witch uh, or not. No, it's two more points, right? Is no, well, we can't flip anything, so we're losing one point to get three more, so it's two, but I don't think, I'm, I don't know if you're gonna get, hmm. Yeah, okay, do it, do it. Flip the Vesemir, maybe. Yeah, the Vesemir, we don't want to flip the engine. Time is easy. Maybe we should. Ooh, oh, okay. Okay. nice. That's good, that's, that's awesome. That's actually really good to keep past there. The witch, the griffin coming through clutch, man. He didn't oh, yeah, kill the, the other two, but man. The gr griffin witch literally played for like, I don't know, like 12 points. That was really good, griffin witch. And now we bleed. Now we bleed, we bleed, like, until we have nothing left, basically. We want to mulligan, I think we want to mulligan both witches, actually. Well, one of them for sure. And I think we're mulliganing the second one as well. Uh, he, he's kind of tall. Maybe not, actually. Can you show me the deck? It's maybe kind of tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't want to leave the second one. Yeah, I don't, don't know. He's it's still in if you do that. We keep, keep. keep the hand. Yeah. So, we want to start off with AA. No. Yeah, no. We want to start off with Adept. And then we can do Adept into Keldar. We're giving him an invocation, though. Hmm. I mean, we have to play it anyways. We have to play it. So, so we're playing the Adept. Yeah. We can play it in the... Yeah, it's front, front is fine. Yeah, try and... So now he plays Location. Uh, oh, he goes Vigo. Should play Vigo first, yeah. The senses I wonder if what he has to play. Slave Hunter? Sure. Used to be, I hunted game. So I think we want to play Keldo next to get him going, and I think we should play him in the back just to have enough if he doesn't have invocation. Tell me what you see. And be specific. So he invos it, then he Joaquim's it. Well, if he invos it, we can't really do much against that, right? Right. Yeah, it, it sucks, but yeah, he kills this. So now we well, go assault. Uh, what do we have for assault? Do we have uh, Royal good? Guards or Scythemen? Uh, I think we go Griffin Witcher from, from Amphibious Assault. We go Griffin Witcher, it's gonna trigger the Adrenaline, so he deals 3 damage, and we either kill Vigo or we kill the Slave Hunter. And I'm kind of hoping we hit the 50-50 and kill the Sinta right. Vigo. <laughs> really this would be nice, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Hit it! Please, please. No. Uh, never lucky. Never lucky. Because I'm thinking we play Witches. I'm thinking we go full. I think we go all in this round. We play Witches. And then we play Leo. And then we play Leo. Because we, we, we just, we, we just lose if we don't do that, I think. We need to get everything out from him to win this game. My duty? Stick my nose where it yeah, doesn't works out. It would have been nice to have killed this, because he did get three more points off him. Oh, yeah, yeah, like that 50-50. Oh, possible. nice, though. We got the... Oh, Although yeah, this is a coup one. target. It, maybe it would have been better if it hit the one. Mm, yeah, maybe. I, I think we just played the Witch's front right now. Do we flip one? No, because they're not boosted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we don't flip. We don't flip. So now he has to drop the ball and we pass. Cancer. We'll see what he does. What's we'll his full what grab? Does. Watch oh, him grab the Yeah, if he pulls the Odin, that sucks. Uh, oh, target practice? That's kind of useless for him. He's only six points. He, he gets the, the uh, simulate perks, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A. Uh, what do we have in deck for Quem? We have Leo, right? Leo, how, yeah. How, how many points is Leo? He's quite a few. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, and 16. 13 points, Leo. I, okay, think it's so, a, I think it's his final. I think we just. Yeah, we go we go Quen in the front, Leo in the back, and then Leo in the front as well. Leo in the back, so you can Leo the front. 
And uh, boost, boost. Uh, don't, 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 don't boost Cantarella. Boost something else. Anything except Cantarella. And don't boost the clan either. Anything except clan and Cantarella. Go fast. Because they're kind of open. <laughs> and flip, flip, flip the clan. Flip, flip, flip the clan. Which fan, one? Fan, fan. On the left, on the left. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's the ball. Cantarella into or into. A superb specimen. Easy game. <laughs> like defusing a bomb. What do you get off it? Let's see. He gets the Yurden. Oh no! Oh no! Hey, that's actually a lose condition, right? I, shall be I think he's a lose condition. Oh, he didn't got it. Oh, thank God. I think we, we might have lose. I think we may be losing if he pulls the Yurden. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was I, I didn't do the mat. I didn't do the mat. I don't know if if you lose if he pulls the Yurden, but that was close. That was hilarious. I mean, this is easy too. Right? This is why I wanted to fight for round one because if you get round control in round two, he's gonna hold the ball, right? And if he holds the ball, like our our long round loses this this deck, right? So we have to win round one versus Nilka. Right? And then we have to bleed milk out right? because we just lose. In, yeah, they just way. fill up your board with a bunch of garbage. Yeah, and their long gun is better than ours because they have poisons, they have ball, they have engines, they have everything. Yeah, GG. It's not an easy matchup. This matchup is definitely not easy because we 2 owe him in round two, but he didn't really have a good hand, right? He missed Usurper and he missed something else. Joaquin. He missed the Arkin, right? Yeah, yeah he missed Usurper and he missed the Arkin, right? So, this matchup is pretty bad for Witches, but you can win if you can get on control. And then it's just about people missing cards, right? Right, for sure. Britain's useless. Oh, wait! Uh, well, yeah. There'll be Good nothing match. to pick up when well, I'm this, done with you. Here, right? You would think. So, we don't want this for sure. Yeah, basically, like, the basic rule of the thumb while playing Witchers is that in round one hand, you don't want the the knight because you want to pull him from deck, and you don't want your Witchers in round one hand. Because. Um, so we keep the Yurden? Yeah, we do. I think we do. Yeah, you, you should keep the Witchers because uh, they are a value, value play for round three, right? So. We, we don't really want to keep them in on one hand if we can. It's lippy. <laughs> oh, it is, uh... I guess the Yurden will get value with the TA. It could, it could, yeah. There is, there is like an argument to play Yurden on one because it's gonna be better on three. Right. I'm not exactly sure what this deck will play though, but it, it's probably gonna be better. Than so do we start with the Adept or do we start with the Witcher, the Griffin? Um, I'm gonna start with the Griffin, so just so we can get some pings in, because you never know, the damage is usually more useful, and we have oil in our hands, so... This hand is not good though, we don't have any of the carrier replaced, which is super bad for which You usually want to play your Erlen and your Vesemir and one, especially in that, when you don't have to commit. And yeah, we, we don't, don't have, have either one of yeah, we don't have either one of them, and we don't we can't even tutor them, right? We don't have Quen, we don't have Select Mutation, so this hand is really, really bad. Do we I just mean, play the Yurden now? Uh Mm, we could. I'm just not sure if we should. I think I think I'd rather develop our engines so we just play the uh, Adam and use the ping on I don't know. Maybe. The bolt. I know. I'm on it. Yeah, I'm just amazed how how bad this hand is. <laughs> we got. It 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 seems to happen on uh, <laughs> when we when I play with other people. <laughs> Hit the hit the shield. Okay. So we target practice. We can target practice the two point engine, the Griffin Witcher, so he survives, and then transform. Basically, so since we have no carry in place, right? And I honestly didn't play versus Victor before, but I 
think what we wanted to do is contest this sound as much as possible. So we want to stay in it. To where we have the reach for it. What? Drum and villager. You'll not touch my uh, I didn't see the card in a while, but uh, it worked out with him in this one. Okay, so he has a lot of points actually, so I think we might even be forced out, to be honest. Uh, we could play Natalis into Amphibious Assault to get some value, but it seems like a waste, right? If we're wasting Assault on a round that we're not gonna win, win, and we don't have any carryover. We can't tutor carryover with it either. Right. So it just seems like a waste because we we're, we're definitely gonna get pushed in round two, so we need that assault in round two. So just so, pass, huh? Honestly, yeah, but I think this is just a pass. Like we don't have any reach for so. <laughs> yeah, he just like you said, we didn't have uh, Erlen, Vesemir, Quan mutation, like nothing. Pretty, That's a good one. Really this guy loves me. Yeah, I think we kick the knight first because we're never gonna play him in hand. Erland is nice, I think. And now we can think about kicking Quan. Ah, uh, not Quan, sorry. Uh, Yodin, right? We can kick him. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything, right? Yeah, like every other hand. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. Like every other card in our hand had value in this sound, and we gave them probably one, so that's fine. Because Titan is probably gonna get some value. We need the engines. So this should be okay. N now we're getting pushed though, which, which kinda sucks. So we just start with the Witcher, huh? Uh, well. Or do we, we just can, go Erlen? I think we can delay one turn and oil one of these guys. Uh, does Lippy play any engines that we need to oil? Uh, I think he played them. I think he swapped out, like, hunters for he, these things. He, yeah, he played two berserkers, and he might play what is called blue boy. So right. we maybe want to say oil for blue boy. Like, blue boy is a lot of points. Yeah, we maybe want to start with Griffin Richard, actually, and save the oil. Can't see it getting any better than Because I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe he plays, like, a cheeky engine that we want to kill with oil. I think it if he him... plays... If he plays it, he's just gonna... Stunning blow. That's a card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I figured he would have one of those, at least. Mm. So we just go Adept? Uh, we or don't do... really have any targets for him, though. Uh, can you show me the deck real quick, so I can see what we're pulling with Quan? Okay, so we're, we're pulling Vesemir with Quan, but that's gonna be in a while, so... Um... Adap is not gonna get much. Uh, can you show me the deck again so I can see what Assault is pulling? So Assault is pulling Knight or Oil God. Hmm. I think we just play Erlen here. Just play like something. We, we need to play him anyway, so this seems like a good turn to do that. Because he, he passes, maybe I don't know. We'll see. He might kill it. Well, I mean, that's probably fine, right? I don't think we're getting too old, because he needs to play Lippy in this sound or something like that. Yeah, he didn't play a Neuromancy. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he will. I don't think we can get too old without him replaying Cyrus, and I don't think he can replay Cyrus, unless... Well, unless he has a really, really good hand for that. But we don't know, maybe he's gonna be forced to play a Neo into Lippy and then he can't really two hours in the sound. And we have a decent hand to fight. The problem is gonna be the Adrenaline 5, right? I mean, right. the turn when we have six cards because then we have to play something that is not gonna be okay to pass him. So we just play uh, the... I think we just play the AA and think the deck. Uh, wait, so we need how many points? We need the... Uh, we need 9 points, so Natalis is 2, and then we need another 7. We can just thin the oil guard out from the deck. I don't think we should play yet to speak its last. Yeah, assault into, into the oil guard, I think. 
because everything else is valuable, right? And the oil guard is the worst guy. No audiences. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not too bad, yeah. The long gun could be spooky, but we have our engines, we have the Adept, we have the Keldar, and um, we have Vesemir, we have Leo. We just gotta he's be gonna, careful he's... not to break the Witchers. Yeah, yeah, we have to be careful about that, obviously. Oh. Uh, Vesemir is good. Yoden. Hmm. Um. Okay, so if we think that Yoden is not gonna find value, I think we can mulligan it here. But then again, our clan. Oh, damn. Okay, we need to mulligan the Witcher. Things yeah, are I break now. Our, uh, yeah, I was about to say our clan is dead now, which is a big problem. Uh, we need to mulligan Witcher, definitely. Uh, probably the. the not, not that Witcher. I think we mulligan the Vesemir, the. the Tinning Witcher, yeah. Definitely. Okay, so there's a slight. Okay, never mind. Actually, we're fine. We're fine, right? We're fine. Yeah, yeah we got your. Coin is not that. Yeah, that's fine. probably won't do much, but <laughs> it it won't do much. Yeah, but it, it, it it's better than being dead, so that's fine. So we just start out with the adept. Huh? Mm. Yeah, I don't think we have a better player to play at this point than adept. I would have loved if you could have get rid of the Sightman, but then you just drew into that card. So just right. Okay. Die already? Or need I kill you again? Um. Can you show me the deck real quick? So we got the Knight, Royal Guard. Margarita. Mm -hmm. Does does this Lipidag do they play any Toll Punish like Morkarg or Heat, heat wave? wave? They play Heat Wave, right? Yeah, Heat Wave usually. Yeah, I'm thinking if we wanna play the Knight or do we wanna play Margarita or do we wanna play Royal Guard? One of those two. Because we don't have any other play right now. You could use oil, but that's kind of stupid. Yeah, he, I think he's gonna try to heal something. Mm -hmm. I think we just a into a knight. The kid winning knight, right? Yes, yes, yes. And you can play him in the front. Play him in the front. Because uh, I, I'm assuming our Kaldor is gonna have decent value. So we want to play Kaldor in the back and then stack almost everything else in the front so you can get some sight in the valley. Yeah, I've seen this coming. Get out! Away! This here's our island! Why is he bleeding now? Because he, he has another uh, stunning blow, probably. Probably, right, yeah. And again, we have an awkward turn. <laughs> right. This is so bad. Um... um I mean, this is so awkward that we might actually be forced to play Siphon here. Like, Siphon for 5 points. It, it, it's really bad, but I don't think we have any other play. Uh, I think he played in the first ah, one. Yeah, yeah like, we, don't, we really don't have any other play, which is a problem. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. That, that card does not get any value because we couldn't find the, we couldn't find the select mutation. So that card was just not getting value. And Kaldor is only 4, so we can't play it. Awkward turn again, but I think this time we just played the oil. We just played on the invader. I don't think he has any heals. This is why the Witcher nerf was pretty, pretty significant, right? Because every card, almost every card, is a Venom 4. Right. And and before that, you don't really have much options. But if it. you like, space you can... them out in the rounds, it's not that bad when you get yeah, them all Yeah, but when you have... Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, Witcher... Time for some marauding! Yeah, he drew the perfect hand. Yeah, he had everything in him, so... Pretty, pretty much, guys. Uh, I think on this turn we can play Keldar. It's just a question of do we need to boost it with Leader? 
does he have a five point of damage? He probably does. Maybe like a random thunder or whatever. He played both stunning blows. Both stunning blows are in the deck. Right. So he doesn't have one in the hand. I'm not sure if he has a five damage card in the hand. So I think we boost him once with leader. That's what I was thinking. One of you must know the answer, surely. He's not gonna block this turn, but we have to play him because then we can play something else next turn, and he's gonna start developing the engine. Yeah, I think he. If he heat waves it, I think he gets a little bit punished for it. He might just try for the the high roll blue boy. Oh, he just goes invader, so he's gonna let it through. That's good. Like so now we play Vesemir. Uh, or do we wait? Actually, and... I'm thinking of greeting out the Vesemir so he can get some value on the spawn the uh, witches. So Cobalt. we go Lambert. So you can just go Lambert. Yeah, the other is still not getting any values. So. <laughs> right. I'm in no mood to talk. Yeah, it might be our only shot, huh? I mean, he's got what the whole. The whole shebang, yeah. Yeah, our only shot is uh, Kelda staying alive and spawning a lot of students so we can get a lot of SMU value. And our Quen is basically 5 points at best. That spawns two witches, which maybe isn't too bad, but yeah, playing 5 points versus Lippy is not really great. Although, I guess we just don't have a choice. No, uh-uh. So we'll see what he does. Maybe he gives us Quen value. I mean, the end value, that would be great if he gives us the value. If he doesn't, I will just make do, right? Yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, it just loses one on Keldar. Yeah, worst case scenario is that. So he goes series now. He goes totem now. Hmm. So he has... Uh, interesting. Wait, why wouldn't he play that on, uh, on Ceres? He played because he has... Now. He has a Royal Decree as well, I think. Oh, they play Royal Decree as well? Oh, that's, I th that's a lot. <laughs> Something, man, I don't know. That's very interesting. So now we so, go Yurden, or do we... I Yeah, yeah I think we want to greet out the Vesemir, so we just go Yurden. He's not going to give us any value. So you go Yurden and Thrun. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, go Quen in the back. Quen in the back and Yoden in the front and reset the opponent's photo, I think. He, he, he's five points play, but... So he just reset this, right? Huh? Yeah. He, he's, he's pretty bad, but there's just nothing you can do. No. So next we're gonna go Scytheman with full leader boost, or do we just... Well, I guess we could just play Leo, huh? Leo's really only play. getting two more boosts. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what he does first, and then we'll see. But we're probably playing something else than a Scytheman, I think. We have six units in the front. Scytheman from Leader is going there, so that's seven. So we can play two more. So we can play both Leo and Vesemir in the front, right? No, 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 no. no. We can play he on He might have Igni. We gotta watch out for Igni. Are they playing Igni? So, they play Igni. They play Yurden. I mean, they just... They just oh okay. They just clown out whatever. <laughs> you know? Okay, if they're playing Yevon, then we can play around it by boosting the back, which is still fine. We can play around Yevon. It's, it's I, I I usually it's. If you think they're playing Yevon, we can play around it, but it, it's not a big problem. So I think we can play Leo this turn, and we can play Leo in the back if you. Think they're playing good, so we can all stagger our boosted units a bit. Yeah. Do we just we're wait for leader anymore. though? We wait for leader for the next turn, huh? I think we wait for leader for the next turn. Yeah, so we can get maximum value. Harry, for leader. Arrows won't fight. Oh, I really ought to try that. Watch him have scorch. <laughs> oh shit! My oh, that that would that would suck. That would really suck. I I'm pretty sure they play Igni though. I'm real safe from Igni. Igni is uh, 15 points, right? Because we played Leo in the back and not in the front. Oh yeah, they do play with Ukraine, so you're right. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, so his last cards, I think, are Igni and... Um, Igni and something, right? Yeah, either Blue Boy or that uh, Vidcarl. Mm -hmm. uh, so we lead her I now, huh? 
Uh, actually, we can wait on the turn. He's not doing any damage, so we can just play Vesemir in the front and just and just keep Vesemir and just pass, and then lead it last turn. It's a pretty good turn. I guess heat heat wave hurts. Yeah, it would hurt. Like, oh, okay, so he yeah, did have. Okay, so it's not very good for us to not play the leader then. Yeah, that's pretty really good for us. Uh, so how many cards do we have in the back? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So if you play, okay, so I think. So we're losing two points on the Kelda if you play both sidemans in the back. Mm -hmm. But then again, we're losing a lot of value on the sidemans if we don't play them in the back. So I think you just go leader and sideman, double sideman in the back. I think you boost the student in the back row that is not boosted with leader, and then any of the two units in the front. And then just play both sidemans in the back. Again. That's how I play. This harvest will be reaping black clad hands. And we just play we just we just play now. We just play that is uh, is enough. <laughs> I mean yeah, he should have played plays. he, he should have played that last. Yeah, he should have. I have no idea why he didn't. He doesn't even have room for his leader. He would have. He would have lost by one. <laughs> Fucking lippy players, man. Oh, boy. That was that was unfortunate. I, uh, I he he might win if he plays here than last. I'm not sure. I can't really do the math on the fly like this, but we we would have played around it, right? I, yeah. I we would have played one side in the front, one side in the back. So we definitely would have played around it, but yeah, it would still be a lot of points. Yeah. Mr. Spider, thanks for hanging out, dude, playing some old school Witchers, even though it was only like a month before, a month ago where they were just stupid good. They're still pretty good, though, I think. What do you think? Uh, I think Witchers belong in the wholesome tier 2 territory, where they're not really bad, but they're not really good, right? They're, they're like mediocre. Because the game plan, everybody knows what the witch of the game plan is. Right. But again, the thing is, like, you know what the game plan is, but you still can't do much with certain decks against it. And witch's strength is that they can win on one or pressure on one and then bleed on two, which is pretty good, and then have a really good short round as well. So, like, they have a lot of points, and they have a certain game plan that can be good. But the problem is that you have a lot of awkward plays, and sometimes you're reliant on the draws, right? So if you don't get your carryover, if you don't get exactly the cards you need to play in a certain order, it can get tough. Yeah. Yeah, but we they're, saw they're it there. Like okay. Yeah, we saw yeah. it right there. They're like a tier two deck. Yeah. Basically. I agree. I think it 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 can get you know dicey against some matchups, but it has really good matchups against other ones. So it's kind of a good <laughs> like. 50 50 you know what i mean where it's yeah, got exactly. good, good and bad um if you need like a fourth faction to play in blank we just can be that yeah oh for sure for sure um that's the video for today guys another episode of ladder leverage episode 90 uh, once again spider thanks for hanging out um thank you for having me make sure you guys check out uh tlg.gg for the meta report uh maybe some updates to it this week uh, after the qualifiers i don't know if anything's been polarized out of the qualifiers this weekend that maybe jumps into the, the snapshot or not we'll have to wait and see but um thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you next time